Hi, my name is Jenny and today we will quickly take a look at the latest release from Omega because lots of people are getting really excited about this right now. This release is, as I am recording this video, only a few hours old, so let's get right into it. So. What has happened? Well, as of today, a new Speedmaster has been released, which isn't really that big of a deal since Omega is releasing them, what feels like every other week app. But this time we are getting something a lot and a lot of Omega Speedmaster fans have been asking for forever. They gave their classic Speedmaster Moonwatch Professional an entirely new outfit, but there is a catcher perhaps two to be totally correct here. Um, but we will talk about that in a minute. Let's first have a look at the watch. Right, so this is a white adult Speedmaster. Yep, you heard that correctly. Uh, the case remains at the well-known 42 millimeter diameter size. So small wrists still have to, you know, deal with the dimensions here. Omega knows that this is a white lacquered dial with an applied Omega logo and some added splashes of color. Um, on the regular Speedmaster, the Speedmaster lettering remains white, same as the second hand, whereas the new white that version has a red second hand tip and the Speedmaster lettering in the same bright red color. Um, everything else remains the same but color inverted from the black dial version so you have the same three link bracelet and the matching Omega folding clasp to go with it. So far the white dial Speedmaster has only been introduced with an open case bag and a sapphire crystal on top with an anti-reflective coating and I'm pretty sure that it will stay that way because the Hasselite belongs to the OG Speedy anyways. Some people assume that Omega might have changed anything about the movement too, but nope. Built in is the same hand-bound coaxial master chronometer caliber 3861 with a 50 hour power reserve. The watch itself is also remaining at a water resistance of five bar. And yeah, right now let's talk about the one catch or you know, the two that I have mentioned earlier. As we have now established, besides the dark color, there really isn't a difference here between the white and the black dark version. But if you look close enough, you will discover two differences. First is the deviation in weight. Yep, I said weight. Um, everything else is technically the same, but the white dial version is two grams heavier. Since Omega hasn't changed anything other than the dial coloring technique, I would assume that the lacquering process might pack a bit of extra weight onto the watch. And secondly, which I think is way more important than the two grams, is the deviation in price. Because apparently those two grams uh, more in weight are going to cost you 100 euro more in money. Yep, you heard that right. Though this is basically the same watch, but with a different dial color, it makes a difference of 100 euro more, at least here in Germany. So I'd like to know from you guys in the comments down below if that's similar to where you live. So yeah, if you have a look at the Omega website, let me know the price difference of these two watches from where you live. That would be interesting to see and learn about. And yes, this is it for this update. Um, I know lots of Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch fans have been waiting for forever for a white L version. And it now finally happened. I have to say it looks pretty fresh to me. Um, the white really suits the, the dial layout and it's perfectly timed for the upcoming spring and summer season. So yeah, smart move. Um, there aren't any news out on availability yet. It is also not possible to order this online yet so we have to be a bit more patient and see what's going to happen as soon as stock is hitting the ADs and yeah that is all I have for you today if you have enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more updates like this on watches and other watch related content make sure to subscribe to my channel and then I will see you in my next video bye